Hi and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making biscotti. Yesterday I made biscotti. I had guests over and made a lovely biscotti with all different flavours. But today I'm going to show you a traditional and very simple to make biscotti. They're an Italian biscuit. They taste wonderful. They're very easy to make. Let me show you how. In a bowl I've got 250 grams, that's nine ounces of all-purpose plain flour, and I'm gonna add 200 grams, that's about seven ounces of caster sugar, that's super fine sugar to our American friends. Then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of baking powder, and then two eggs. And then we gently want to just stir that together, that's the basic ingredients for a biscotti. And once it's got a crumb like that, just get your hands in and start to draw that pastry together. And as the mixture starts to come together, I'm going to take 150 grams of toasted almonds and just mix that through very roughly at the moment. And now I'm just going to turn my biscotti mixture out onto a floured surface. And I'm going to continue to just knead the dough a little bit on this surface. So I'm using a fairly heavily floured surface just to stop it sticking to my hands on the surface. I'm going to divide this dough up into two. Then I take one of these pieces and I'm just going to roll it out to about a foot in length there, and I'm just squaring off the ends like that. So I've ended up with two little biscotti loaves here, which are gonna go onto a baking tray, into an oven at 160 degrees Celsius, that's about 310 Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna bake these for about 25 minutes at that low temperature. And then they've gotta come out again, and we're gonna be rebaking these. Don't forget, biscotti twice baked. Now I've bought those biscottis out of the oven after 25 minutes and they're a lovely sandy brown. We want to leave these on the side, maybe five or 10 minutes to let them cool down so that we can actually handle them. They've got to be cut while they're still warm. So my biscottis now are still nice and hot. You see I squared those edge up so we don't get too much waste. You now take a sharp knife and we just want to cut the biscotti in about centimetre uh, to one centimetre, two centimetre widths. And don't forget, the end piece, little bits of uh, treats for the chef. Now also, whilst the biscottis are still warm, you'll be able to cut through the nuts nicely. I don't know if you can see there. I'll just uh, show you that slice through. Look at that, that looks beautiful. Now at the same oven temperature, this tray is gonna go into the oven, and I'm just gonna cook them 10 to 15 minutes each side, and halfway through, I'm just gonna turn them over and cook the other side. So after 10 to 15 minutes, I'm just going to turn these over now and let them bake on the other side for a further 10 to 15 minutes. So I've let my biscottis completely cool down on a rack here and I've popped them into a, a favourite biscuit tin. Now you can serve those to your guests when they come around, show them how clever you are. You've made authentic Italian biscotti and they taste absolutely delicious, guys. And guys, I'm going to serve this dipped in uh, a nice cappuccino. You can serve it as you like. For kids, it's great with a little warm milk or a hot chocolate. And the variations on this are endless. You can fill this with all sorts of wonderful fillings. The other day I made them with a white chocolate and cashew nut. You're only really limited by your imagination. So guys, enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. Delicious. Thank you again for joining me in Steve's Kitchen for the biscotti recipe. Guys, I hope you give this one a try and comment them down below. I'll leave my subscription, a couple of other videos there. Be good, I will see you shortly. Take care.